planning a lesson which is efficient and which is effective is key towards uh, designing syllabus for second language writing. So we will look at lesson planning practices and procedures. What are, what are workable and what are not workable and how we can make them useful for our students in this module. So our lesson plan should be based on with a purpose, with a reason. And we should prioritize the skills and uh, knowledge which our students would like to acquire or which, which we would like to develop amongst our students. And it's important that we write the lesson plan. And from my own personal experience as a language teacher, when I taught English for academic purposes course, for instance, when I taught students uh, of international uh, backgrounds, uh, the use of may and might, can and could, uh, probability and possibility. I wrote my lessons. I planned my lessons. I planned each and everything. I wrote each and everything. I wrote the objective. I wrote the aims. I wrote the rationale. And I wrote, I, I used to write um, like the class management. I used to write each chunk of the lesson. So this, this is important when you become language teacher and as part of your training that you write. What sort of skills you want to develop and how the sequence. So experienced teachers or skilled teachers, they know how to make lesson plans and execute them in, in, a, in a productive manner. However, on the other hand, some inexperienced and newly hired teachers may lack this skill, and this is important that they learn it. And the purpose of this module is to raise awareness amongst you about the usefulness of lesson plans in, in a writing course. Like we plan lessons for speaking courses or listening courses or reading courses, but how well we plan lessons for Writing courses is important. So it's each activity in our lesson needs to have a reason, and teacher must think why an activity is important and how it needs to be channelized or sequenced, right? Lesson plan varies from situation to situation, from students to students, from class to class. And I would suggest you to read much literature available on how to plan lessons effectively. And some teachers are experienced, efficient, skilled, and they can use the lessons plan in a productive manner. However, some may be constrained because of time, because of their uh, personal experiences. So overall, lesson plan is a practical, tangible, dynamic, and those peop those teachers who plan their lessons efficiently for writing classes, they embrace exploratory approach, which make them think of lessons as opportunities for experimentation, to know what went well to know what didn't go well and how they can improvise their teaching for the better learning opportunities of their students. Um, what the literature suggests on second language writing is that not each, not every lesson works the way we want because there can be some unexpected or there can be some challenging situations, some, there can be some questions which can detract uh, the student, deviate actually the, from the main course of the lesson. So we should see the classroom, go, go into the classroom with, with an unexpected mindset. And it's important that we make reflection an integral part of our lesson plan. Reflection allows us to think 
of our own practice. Let me share my own personal experience. For example, when I was teaching international students in, uh, at, at an international university, in my first class, I couldn't name students because naming them creates sort of association. So that was this that was the deficiency that I learned through my reflection, and I pro, I just realized it's important. So a written lesson actually facilitate processes such as post lesson evaluation, problem diagnosis, and skill enhancement. 